Today, we got a special one. Celebrating its 150th anniversary, the Royal Albert Hall organ has been sampled into a virtual instrument available for the free contact player. This gigantic organ has 9,999 pipes. Come on, couldn't they do one more? And it used to be the largest pipe organ in the world. Now we can have access to its huge variety of sounds. It's like its own orchestra with brass, woodwinds, strings and even choral sounding pipes. The Royal Albert Hall organ was sampled by film and TV composer James Everingham with a file size of 35 gigabytes and a whopping 40,000 samples. Let me tell you, this one is sampled in great detail. Royal Albert Hall organ features 27 manuals with combinations of the organ's 147 stops as well as 14 pedals and 8 solos. There are also 18 contact snapshots of curated pairings of manuals and pedals as starting points. Let's get a feel for some of these. Starting with the ultra epic Voice of Jupiter and then exploring the lower intensities. <laughs> Holy cow! And here are some of the solos. In case you didn't know, the Royal Albert Hall organ uses pneumatic hammers for additional percussion, which was also sampled. We got a bass drum, an orchestral celeste and tubular belts. It won't replace dedicated libraries, but it's nice to have these percussion options available and recorded in the same room as the organ. They also sampled the room tone of the Royal Albert Hall itself, and you can place it underneath your orchestral mockups for an extra bit of life. Check out the official walkthrough to see all of the available presets in action. The interface of Royal Albert Hall organ looks modern and clear. On the first page, you see the mixer with mic positions and balancing options and the display of which manual and pedal is currently selected for the left and right hand. You can easily change them here. As most composers use one MIDI keyboard, the pedals are mapped to the left hand, whereas the different manuals are played by the right hand. However, the keyboard placement can be easily customized, and you can also set solos for both hands or the low pedals for the right hand, for example. With View Stop List, you can see which exact stops are combined for a selected patch. All manuals, pedals and solos are available as separate contact patches if you want to save resources. But personally, I prefer browsing the main instrument until I find a sound that I like. And then of course, you also have the contact snapshots with great combinations to get started quickly. Royal Albert Hall Organ comes with a default mix by the producer James Everingham and additional mic positions for fine tuning. <laughs>
The second page is called Keyboard, where you can set the playable ranges for your pedals and manuals. With external MIDI mode, you can split the signal of the left and right hand into separate channels and then to different MIDI controllers if you want that more realistic organ feel. On the third page, we have some useful settings. With the adjustable sample start delay, we can balance between instant, lag-free playability on the one end and a slightly delayed but more realistic sound on the other end. A presence slider offers some slight processing to bring the sound a bit closer and make it more direct. We can toggle around robins and play around with the stereo width and different reverb options. I really like the interface. It looks good and it's simple to use. First of all, I find it absolutely fantastic that we get the chance to have such a renowned, grand and historical instrument with the room tone of a legendary concert hall at our fingertips. And by sampling it in great detail, James Everingham did an amazing job to capture the spirit of it. Yes, not all 147 stops are recorded separately, but we have a huge amount of combinations where pretty much all stops appear at least once. This gives the Royal Albert Hall Organ Sample Library an incredible range with dozens of nuances. In the samples, you can hear how the organ breathes in the wind through the pipes. Playing it feels vivid and just fun. With the voice of Jupiter and pedal of Jupiter, we got a huge, grand sound that can give additional power to, for example, epic orchestral performances or cinematic trailer tracks. But it can also truly speak for itself alone. The different manuals can sound brassy like a trumpet, reedy like an oboe, or soft as a choral texture. The organ really comes closer to an analog one-person orchestra than anything I've heard before. And this variety is absolutely present in the sampled version of the organ as well. There's a great default mix to get started and you can further adjust the tone with the additional mic positions. Royal Albert Hall Organ is a very capable all-rounder that can go from whisper quiet to earth-shattering loud and everything in between. The presets make it easy to find a fitting tone even for non-organists and the programming is well done. The adjustable sample start lets you find a balance between playability and realism. And honestly, I'm not sure what else I would want from a sampled pipe organ. Keep in mind that you don't have all 147's individual stops from the Royal Albert Hall organ sampled. And if you can live with that, the curated large selection of presets will make you very happy. Subscribe to the channel for more composer content and I'll see you soon.